Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be telling you about my postpartum must-haves and the things that I have been using postpartum. I am currently five and some plus weeks postpartum. I've had a really difficult journey, but to be honest, it's not because of the actual birth and lady parts and all of that, but more honestly because of just other circumstances that I have been dealing with, but there's more about that in a vid another video that I will be sharing. I don't wanna shed too much light on that, but I did have a really, really difficult birth and postpartum situation, um, which left me unable to walk. So I am still not fully back on my feet, but I'm feeling a little better. Therefore, I'm trying to resume some of my activities but um let's jump into this video these are my postpartum must-haves and the things that i really enjoyed using or have found like really necessary um first i'm gonna go and and talk about the things that the hospital gave and basically what you start out with you start out <laughs> with these mesh underwear the infamous mesh underwear which really aren't as bad i actually preferred these over wearing like the diapers or whatever that you could buy from always or depends or whatnot and you just stick your legs in there and put them up and then they gave you these enormous enormous pads which i still have left over because i didn't really use them once i got home but you just put this in into here and you know you pull it up and for me, it was really difficult because I couldn't even do that by myself. So my poor husband and the nurses had to help me do all of that. It was just a disaster. But it wasn't so bad. I can't say that I was in too much pain, but if you do have pain, they do give you this dermoplast at the hospital. My doctor gave me this and it's supposed to help. It's like a cooling spray which takes away pain, it's fast relief, cold and comforts. And then there are these witch hazel wipes that you can put on your pads in order to help with the pain. And again, I honestly, I didn't even use these, but I've heard that a lot of people do use them and it does help them quite a bit. And then another thing, the only way I could really clean myself, I didn't shower for maybe like four, four or five days the entire time I was in the hospital and because I literally couldn't walk, I couldn't get to the shower, there's no way I would have been able to properly take a shower. So I was disgusting by the time I got home. But the way I did clean myself down there was with a Perry bottle. Again, this is what the one that they provided for me at the hospital. So this is what I used. So those are, of course, somebody's banking as soon as I want to shoot a video. But yeah, the way you use the Perry bottle is you basically, it's self-explanatory, you fill it up with warm water or cool water, whatever your preference is, and squirt, 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 tap, tap, wipe, wipe. And then that's it. Once I got home, I basically transitioned to these always ultra thin pads. I found that they were all that I really needed. I didn't really need any more absorbency than that. They are long, they are the overnight ones and um, this is what I've been using just until a couple days ago where I think my bleeding has subsided. Now I just use like a small panty liner just in case. Another thing, I'm basically, I'm still, I don't think I've gone a day without wearing a bra just because I am breastfeeding and I'm leaking and it's just a disaster. But <laughs> it's having comfortable bralettes and sports bras whatever your preference is. This is from Calvin Klein, but I literally just have a whole basket of ones that I've been wearing. I sleep in it, I wear it all day. I'm really looking forward to the day that I won't need to be wearing a bra anymore, but I don't see that coming anytime soon. So you definitely need to stock up on comfortable bralettes that you do not mind sleeping in and basically being in 24 seven. And then to go along with that, the stay dry nursing pads from, um, let me see this, Lance now. These have been a lifesaver. They're really absorbent and you just stick them inside of your, inside of your bralette on both sides. They come in little pre-packaged packs like that. I've noticed that they absorb a lot of milk. So if you are leaking, then those are definitely a freaking 
lifesaver. So I would stock up on these two. And these, I was actually, I actually found these as raw, at Ross, as you can see, so they were on sale, but I think they're a little more. Cost about $7, yeah, so I saved, saved a couple dollars there. Because I am breastfeeding, I have been dealing with some awful, awful, awful transitioning. Um, and the worst part of it was definitely the first seven days and the whole time I was in the hospital, I was a wreck, I was crying, it hurt so bad, I just couldn't handle it. It was to the point where I was like, I don't know if I want to breastfeed because I wasn't sure that I could get through that hump. And I tried everything, I tried using nipple shields, nah, didn't work. I tried using, I don't know, these other clamper things that they put on to kind of separate my boob from my bra so that it wouldn't get be as raw. They were just in throbbing pain. They hurt so bad, they were chapped. I was bleeding, I was crying. Anytime she would latch onto me, it was just a disaster. I, I, I didn't think I was gonna get through it, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel. It does get easier, maybe, I don't know. A little later and maybe I'll make a separate breastfeeding video but um it does get easier you just literally have to push through and deal with the pain and there's literally no other way there are a couple things that can help you a little bit especially if you are chapped and bleeding and stuff the first thing is obviously some creams and balms and the two that I did use are this Lansino lanolin cream um, this one, it is a little sticky, but I think it stays on your nipple better, therefore it's more coated, but I don't like how it leaves my fingers all like sticky and I really feel like I need to wash my hands, but it doesn't wash off really well, I don't know, it's kind of waxy. Um, but it is supposed to be one of the best things you can put, and it does help quite a bit. And the other one I used is the Earth Mama Organic Nipple Butter, and this stuff, it smells really good, it smells like cocoa butter or something. And it is just a balm also that you put on your nipples. And this is a natural product. And this one I like to put on better, but I don't feel like it was as um, almost, I don't know. I feel like it would get absorbed really quickly and then my nipples will dry out again. So I feel like you would have to put this, apply this a lot more than this one. But they're both really good and you don't have to wash your nipples before feeding with both of these products. So meaning you could just feed right away. You don't have to do anything before nursing. But yeah, I would highly recommend that. And also I would recommend to um, try to air dry or keep your breasts out as much as possible, especially after applying these in order to let them heal. And another thing to really that really helped heal are these silver ads. And they soothe and protect your nursing nipples using the healing properties, using the healing properties of silver. And these are silver nursing cups. They come in a package like this, and I didn't know what to expect, but they are safe, they are effective, and they are natural, guys. So it is an awesome product. This is what they look like. Ooh, look at them. It's like little eyeballs on me right now. <laughs> but yeah, basically you just put them in your bra, on your nipples, like this, and the silver, they are made from silver and they help heal your nipples and these are honestly i thought they were awesome they help kind of cool relax and i did notice that when i would take my breaths back out they did feel a lot better and maybe some of the chappedness was healing and so i would highly recommend you guys get some of these if you are planning on breastfeeding and trying to get through that initial hump <laughs> these babies really 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 help and they are made in italy so that's cool too. Let me see if I can tell you any more. Oh, and the really cool thing about them too is that they have a recycling program so you can transform your silverette into like a pendant afterwards that you could wear and remember. I think that's such an awesome way to, you know, remember the pain that you went through <laughs> with your newborn child. So basically you just transform them into a charm and you can just put their initial on it. They are a little bit pricey, but I do recommend them. And plus you get a keepsake forever. So it is a really high quality product, guys. They're easy to clean. You just wash them with soap. What is 925 Silver? 925 Silver is pure solid silver that can be molded. The healing properties of silver are well known. It has been known to has been used in wound care for centuries as a natural antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory agent. Silverette are nickel free. Guys, I really recommend this. If you 
are trying to breastfeed. Another postpartum product that I think is really handy, and this is something that was introduced to me, and it is these Lilova period proof underwear. And I got myself the thong version because I was really, really excited to get back in a thong after wearing granny panties for so long. But basically, these are period underwear, guys, that you can wear postpartum or during your period or whenever, meaning you don't need a pad, you don't need a tampon, they absorb everything for you. And then you just wash them and use them again. And we spend so much money on pads and tampons when you could just slip on a pair of underwear that absorbs it all for you. How awesome is that? So these are the ones that I got, but they do come in a lot of really stylish, trendy, styles they have you know like the hipster type and the normal underwear cut i just wanted the thong because i was so anxious to get back into a thong and so i have been having just a little bit of bleeding so this is basically when i'll be wearing these when i was bleeding too much i think it would have been too much for this and so <laughs> too much for this pair of underwear but um, i feel like now i'm at that comfortable place where it'll absorb just the little amount of bleeding that i am having so I'm really excited about that. And this is the cute packaging that it came in. And see, it does have different styles. Like this girl is wearing another style. <laughs> and then they're easy to care for. You, it says to rinse immediately after use in cool water until it runs clean. And then you can, and then you can machine wash them and then hang dry. See, it says each of our underwear is made with our unique leak resistant technology to hold up to two tampons worth. It is made of four layers to make you feel dry, feel fresh, feel secure, and feel free. So guys, I highly recommend you get yourself some period-proof underwear if you're trying to be stylish postpartum because you just feel like a blob, a slob, a mob. I don't know what other word to use, but if you want to look cute, get yourself some Lilova on these guys. Another thing is I would recommend wearing some shapewear. This is a band that I got from Lucy V and it was sent to me, it was they were really nice to do that. And I've been wearing this postpartum to kind of hold everything in and try to get my stomach back to where it was before, you know, pregnancy. So I've been wearing this band, corset band, and then I have also been wearing shapewear like this, but I'll just put on and keep on. I don't wear it 24 seven, but you know, definitely a significant amount of hours a day and it does help kind of suck everything in. I'm still not back where I need to be but we are working on it. We are working hard. So shapewear I would recommend as well. I have some Spanx that I'm waiting to come in as well. And then I recommend moisturizing as well because you still want to maintain your elasticity. And this is Matana Stretch Mark Oil. But you can use any oil or any lotion that you've been using during your pregnancy or just throughout. You just want to kind of massage the area so that the elasticity improves and you avoid ending up with some saggy skin. And that way, in combination with the shapewear, you just kind of suck everything back in. And this is a non-greasy, ultra-light body oil that quickly absorbs to hydrate, soothe, and help prevent stretch marks. So, you just massage it anywhere you need some extra hydration. Highly recommend that guys. And then another thing, <laughs> postpartum, you may not have a lot of time to eat, but you need to really nourish yourself. And especially if you're breastfeeding, you need to make sure you're getting a lot of good nutrients so you can pass it on to your newborn baby, full of vitamins and all that other good stuff that your baby needs to develop. And these are Nourish Her Bars, and this is a female focused nutrition. And they have basically, it, have, it comes with all the essential nutrients you need, probiotics, flavor, good flavor, iron, superfoods. And this pack came in three flavors, spirulina, ginger, strawberry, rose hip, and papaya turmeric. This is what it looks like. And these are really easy to grab. It nourish yourself through all four trimesters with real food that works. Our ingredients pull double duty to provide the nutrition you need to grow a healthy baby, bolster your reserves, and aid recovery after you launch that baby into the world. So these are really quick to just grab and eat, and they're full of basically all the vitamins and minerals and good stuff that you need. And also like the granola oatmeal aspect of them, 
does actually help with um, breast milk production. So that's really beneficial. Beneficial? Is that a word? Yeah, it is. Why am I even second guessing myself? I'm so tired, guys. I barely sleep anymore. So I'm even doubting real words. But yeah, <laughs> making sure you are nourished is really important postpartum. So if you're looking for an easy way to do that, I recommend Nourish Her bars that come with all the essential nutrients that you need. In case I have some mommy brain and I forgot some items, those are all my postpartum must-haves that I could think of off the top of my head and that I've been using on a daily basis. So, yeah, what do you think, Onyx? What do you think? He's still adjusting to having a baby in the house and she's currently napping and about to get up any second, so I need to run. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything I left out or if you guys have any other recommendations for me because I am still going through this process. I'll have more updates for you guys and more vlogs coming soon. I have taken some time to, you know, be with my baby and adjust and deal with all the things I have been doing. I know I've been having some, I wouldn't say postpartum depression, but I've been very emotional and I don't know. I've been going through a really hard time not because of the baby, but because of the circumstances with which I was left again. That's in another video. But um, yeah, so it's really important to have people also around you that support you and help you and guide you. That's also, I would say, the most important thing postpartum. Just surround yourself with loved ones. Try to watch funny, I don't know, shows or movies. Read funny things, I don't know. Just try to keep yourself uplifted because it is a difficult time. It's not easy by any means, so surround yourself with love and stay positive and you know, you will make it to the other side. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you guys thought. And I will see you guys next time, bye.